Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Male and Female. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. For those that this reading happens to resonate with, y'all already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload a reading. For those of you who would like to book a personal reading with me, all of the information you need is down below in the description box. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes to my channel. Let's get into this reading for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising Relationship reading. Okay, so one more shuffle. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. First card is going to represent you, Capricorn. We have the Ace of Wands. Wow, a lot of passion here. New beginning in a relationship. Wow. So this could be a new passion and beginning. Maybe you have your eye on your eye on someone. Okay, let's see. Your partner's energy. We have the nine of wands. Okay. So you could be your partner. Well, you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Um let's see. So it looks like your partner is definitely showing up with the nine of wands. So they are confident. Um, and this deck, I know the nine of wands talks about like giving up, but this nine of wands in this deck, this person is definitely confident. They're very patient is what I'm getting. Okay. So it's like, yeah, it's like they have the confidence. They know that they're going to come out on top. They know that they're going to get what they want. Here's what I'm getting with the nine of wands. So let's see, what is the current situation in the relationship? We have the page of cups yeah so that's definitely an offer yeah definitely coming from this person here um a lot of passion and energy it looks like somebody definitely wanting to offer you love here um let's see what is the challenge we got the nine of swords having a lot of anxieties and worries maybe depression here is what i'm getting as well um let's see what needs to be worked on here we have the six of wands getting victory um Let's clarify the outcome. Let's see the outcome. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. So wanting something for long term here with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe wanting to um, build a, a solid foundation here. Something for long term here with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Um Capricorn getting a lot of passion, a lot of sexual passion and energy here. So let's clarify the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like you're definitely wanting to start something new, a passionate beginning, like you have your eye on somebody. Okay. This Ace of Wands, you know, this is, yeah, a passionate new beginning. It looks like somebody, um, <laughs> I'm getting the lock here. This lock is standing out to me. Someone has your attention on lock. Is what I'm getting. Definitely could be this not this fire sign here or this partner, this person who is representing the nine of wands. Let's clarify the nine of wands here. This person is definitely confident. We got the seven of cups. Okay. So this is a little il like illusions here with the seven of cups. This also could mean that your person is very confident. Um, they have a lot of options as well. Looks like they're focused on you though, okay? Um, let's clarify the page of cups, um, current situation in the relationship. We got the three of swords. Interesting. Wow. Page of swords could be a child here as well. Wow. So current situation within the relationship looks like some sort of heartbreak here. Three of wands. I mean, three of swords here. Um, third party, uh, someone maybe in between you two or something like that. Mm, let's see. Nine of Swords, somebody having a lot of anxiety. That's the challenge here, having a lot of anxieties and worries. Depression here is what I'm getting. Not being able to sleep with the Nine of Swords. Let's see, we have the Chariot. Yeah, overcoming obstacles, having the willpower here is what I'm getting to overcome this obstacle, this depression, the worries here. Um, the anxieties is what I'm getting regarding this relationship. So it may be a little bit of a... um. could be somebody else involved here i'm getting fatal attraction here because we got this ace of wands it's coming from the your side capricorn you're very stable you're financially stable you know um 
this person here that's very confident is kind of like confused. It looks like somebody is popping up with an offer. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm just getting this. this and this definitely could be a challenge. Yeah, um, this water sign, a Cancer, could be a, a fatal attraction here. Somebody is maybe still in love with you or still hurt here. You could have asked this person out is what I'm getting. Okay. Wow. Let's clarify the six of wands. This is what needs to be worked on. You getting victory. Um, let's, let's clarify the six of wands. We got the page of swords. Yeah, it looks like definitely somebody could be watching you. I feel like somebody is popping up, not wanting to move on. They could be still heartbreaking, heartbroken over you. Um, they could still love you is what I'm getting. I'm getting somebody could be definitely a little cuckoo, psycho. Um, that's what I'm getting. The outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. So you're definitely wanting to build a stable environment. I really feel like you have a lot of passion for this new person here, okay? Um, they have as much as, uh, they have as much, um, confidence as you do is what I'm getting. Um, but we have somebody here that's like not going for it here is what I'm getting. Somebody is having a lot of anxieties and depression. And it's like they're they're definitely coming forward here with, with this chariot. They're overcoming obstacles. They're overcoming this this um this anxiety here. But I I, I feel like it's turning more into a fatal attraction here. Okay. Especially with this Ace of Wands, I feel like you could have been very good with like, like you know what you're doing in the bedroom, Capricorn, <laughs> with this Ace of Wands here. You know, this is my dick card. That's how I feel about the Ace of Wands. Definitely very sexual, passionate energy here that you could be giving off. And so somebody is definitely um, still heartbroken over this. Could be somebody who's younger than you, a water sign, but they're definitely having a lot of anxieties and worries and depression over this situation. Um, so this could be a challenge that you have to overcome. Getting rid of this person is what I'm getting. Um, let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Definitely, I feel like the overall energy, you're definitely wanting to build something stable, something solid, something for long term. Okay, let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. And we got the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, it looks like you're definitely wanting to build something solid, but in the process, you're going to be leaving somebody behind, leaving somebody feeling like they're, they've been abandoned, leaving somebody left out in the cold here is what I'm getting. Um, this could be a major problem within your relationship because, like I said, your partner is very confident. They're patient. You know, they know that they can win your heart here or your passion, your love, whatever this is. But also with the Seven of Cups, they, it could be a lot of... Um, your partner, you know, whoever you're trying to talk to may be a little confused as to why this person is popping up from out of nowhere expressing their love for you. It's almost like you abandoned them. That's what I'm getting that this person is going to try to come off and say, like, you know, Capricorn abandoned me and, you know, he, you know, they told me that they were going to be with me and all of this crazy shit is what I'm getting. Wow, yeah, some things are definitely hidden. I feel like you don't know this person as much as you thought you did, okay? <laughs> wow, so you need to look out for that. Yeah, this is definitely somebody from your past that wanted a commitment with you, and they're definitely coming forward here wanting to offer you love. But like I said, you could be kind of like don't know what to do because you're definitely trying to get to know someone new. And then we have somebody coming forward brokenhearted and feeling betrayed and all of this crap so you need to be on the lookout for that i'm definitely going to be pulling some romance angels for you capricorn because i feel like you're very stable you know king of pentacles very stable you're financially stable you have everything that you need you know you have all the resources you know look at that like berries in the background nice nice uh view <laughs> of a home you know you're very financially stable you have um the money to take care of yourself and as well as the sex is damn good so it looks like you have a fatal attraction on your hands capricorn looks like you're definitely yeah somebody somebody is not through with you yet okay so that's what i'm getting wow you may have a fatal attraction on your hands you know that's what I'm getting.
<clears throat> what we got for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female, relationship reading. We have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So it looks like you're kind of like guided to take the steps toward this new person. You want to make the effort towards them. Um, yeah, you have a lot of romance. There's definitely a lot of romantic feelings as well. But I'm just getting Miss Crazy over here. That energy is just really looming. Um, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I feel like this person could be coming forward wanting you to work on the relationship, wanting you to give them another chance. Very needing type of energy. Delusional here is what I'm getting. Very fatal attraction type of shit. Okay. I cannot stress that enough. Okay. Um, one more for Capricorn. And it's probably because, you know, you're very stable. You're a catch. We're getting a catch, male or female. Like, you definitely have, like, you're stable. You know, you have your own. It's what I'm getting. A lot of people can't find someone with good sex and stable with money, okay? <laughs> yeah, codependency. I feel like this person may have a, a strong attachment to you, very needy, very codependent, okay? Um, and I feel like this person, you're going to have problems over this person. Like, you're going to have problems with this person, Capricorn. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, so just tell, <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. This person is definitely coming forward. They're having a lot of anxieties and they're like, hell no. I'm not about to let somebody else try to take my place. Yeah, somebody, you got a fatal attraction on your hands here. Somebody is definitely not wanting to let go. Okay, and that could definitely affect the relationship that you're trying to build with this new person. Whoa. We have no... <laughs> Wow, yeah, it looks like this person is coming back to ask for some sort of forgiveness or like they want forgiveness from you is what I'm getting. I feel like they feel like you broke, like they like like you ripped their heart out of their chest, literally, okay? It's what I'm getting. I'm also getting for some for some of y'all, this is not for all of y'all. This person may be trying to hurt themselves or cut themselves or something like that to try to get you to be with them here is what I'm getting. Yeah, and we have a, a clear no from the angels. This person is definitely kind of like sick or just, yeah, just crazy. I'm getting crazy, 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 crazy. This person is, yeah, they're fucking crazy. <laughs> Angel said they're crazy. Yeah, and then uh, another no at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you you do not yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, don't stop moving forward. Continue to move forward here. This is the sign that you need. I feel like this person is fucking crazy, okay? And um, they're not going to take no for an answer. It's like, like I said, this person may be trying to cut themselves or do something to harm themselves um, to get you to give them a chance and that's excuse me that's fucking loony okay yes yeah, a lot of things that's hidden that you don't know about this person this is definitely somebody that you used to date somebody from your past somebody who wanted a commitment with you okay now that's all i have for this crazy ass shit right here okay <laughs> if this reading resonated with you in any way like share and subscribe be safe okay i'll see you next time bye bye